guys, it's Joy. Today is Monday, August 10th, 2009, and it's time for my transcriber's FTM video. This week's topic is safety. Um, I'm not sure I have a whole lot to contribute, only because Jason and I haven't gotten to spend a lot of time um, together. Uh, so it's kind of hard to gauge. Um, don't have a lot to draw on, but I'll do my best. Um, the first question is, have you or the trans man in your life ever felt unsafe to his, due to his trans identity? When and what happened? Um, I never have. See, I grew up in, um, I grew up in the Bronx, so I was 12. So I'm very comfortable in, um, urban settings. Um, whereas other people might not be. So I don't, I don't notice what other people might perceive to be, um, dangers. I asked Chase about this and he said, um, there have been a couple of times, um, where he felt unsafe and I asked him because there's a funny story. I asked him if it was just a general unsafe or, you know, in particular, um, directed at towards, did he feel unsafe because of being trans? And he said, a little bit of, like, he felt unsafe and then thought that the, the trans would add to how unsafe he felt. But when he first came here to uh, Massachusetts, we had gone to stop and get cigarettes. It was about 11 o'clock at night, I guess, and I live in a, not a great place. Um, yeah, no, not a great place. And uh, just as he was walking into the store, there were two other guys that were walking in, and... Um, this huge bang went off and didn't daze me. I don't know what it was. Um, but the two guys said, oh, my God, someone got shot and turned around <laughs> and went back to their car. And Chase whoosh, turned around, came right back up to the truck. He's like, what the fuck was that? Um, so I, I, and I was like, fireworks? I don't know. He's like, okay, we're going to move the truck. Um, so, again. I feel safe in situations where he doesn't. Um, but whether or not it's just related to his being trans, I, I don't think so. I think like what he said is just, he would feel unsafe in that situation regardless. And just the fact that he's trans um, exacerbates it a little bit. Or maybe a lot. I don't know. Um, have you or... The trans man in your life ever been discriminated against due to his trans identity? Not that we're aware of. Um, I asked him that. He said, if he has been, it's never been obvious. So, next question. What precautions do you take to ensure your own safety and your trans man's safety when out in public? Um, one of the precautions I take, I'm, j I'm confident. That's it with people in the eye. That's exactly what I do. I... Um, don't act like I'm a scared little whatever. I, that's in your face. That's just how I am. And I read somewhere too once that, um, if someone is looking at you and, and considering making you a victim, if you look them in the eye, um, because of that contact, it reduces their chances. I don't know if that's why I do it. I've just always been like that. Um. As far as Chase, what does he do? He tries to just blend in. Um, and then that's ideally what he wants to be able to do, is to just blend in and not uh, stand out. But I don't know that that's directly related to safety. That's just um, something that he wants to be able to do, period. Um... What worries or concerns do you have when your trans man is out alone somewhere? Um, the only time I was really actually worried about him was when he was coming to Massachusetts. I was talking to Bethany, one of the other girls on the channel, and I told her that he was flying into Newark. And she was like, oh my God, no, don't let him go there. Um, it's really bad there. And... And, and she was really um, concerned. Well, I didn't, he knows now, but I didn't say that to Chase. <laughs> I didn't tell him um, because not that I didn't think that, that Bethany was being 
genuine. I know she was. Hi, Bethany. Um, just, there was nothing that he was going to be able to do. He had already purchased the tickets, and that's one thing we always go through every time he, he gets airline tickets. Is I've already paid for them. We can't change them. Um, so it's written in stone. This is when it's happening. So the fact was, he was coming to Newark regardless. It didn't end up being um, as bad as I guess it could have been. It, it didn't. I didn't see a problem with it at all. But again, I was raised in the Bronx. So I was twelve. I live here in uh, this very, very urban, very urban place now. Um, so stuff like that doesn't phase me. Chase never mentioned feeling uncomfortable there or, or anything like that. So that was the only time, though, that I was worried. I was like, oh, my God, what if something happens? Um, and I'm very, I'm like mama bear. I'm very protective. Um, so I, when there have been times when we've been out together and he's made mention of, you know, Oh, like there was one time, I think I mentioned it in another video, there was one time that we were at a bar um, in a hotel. We had gone, taken my son to a train show and we were in a bar and this guy was, was giving Chase the eye, looking at him for whatever reason. And Chase pointed it out to me and my first instinct was to make eye contact with the guy. Don't you know how you make eye contact with people and like all of a sudden they catch eyes with you and you look away? I didn't. I just kept like as if to say, do you have a fucking problem? Would you like to speak to someone over here? Do I owe you money? What? Um, <laughs> I'm obviously not a little timid thing. Um, but I have to, I know I need to try and curb that. Um, what advice do you have to offer other sofas and trans men concerning trans safety? See, as far as, don't put yourself in situations where you know there's going to be a problem. And this, I think, is for everybody, not just trans, you know, girls don't, go to uh, you know, horny frat house parties at 2 o'clock in the morning when everybody's drunk. Just be smart. Don't put yourself in a situation where um, you know ahead of time that there could be problems. Of course, sometimes there's going to be problems regardless. Um, and I don't know, it's hard to deal with people in that situation who want to start trouble. Um, just be smart and be confident. If you act like you are afraid, whoever is looking to make you a victim will pick up on that and you become an easier target. Um, so. I know I didn't contribute a whole lot because, like I said, we haven't spent a whole lot of time out and about together yet. Uh, so it's, it's, I don't have a whole lot to draw on. Um, hopefully some of the other girls will have a whole lot of information for you guys. I know Nikki had a lot of resources. Um, but that's my video for this week. I will talk to you guys later. Have a great week. Bye.